welcome back to Baking Soda Kitchen. Today we are going to be making a vanilla pound cake. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe down below to Baking Soda Kitchen and ring the bell so that you'll be notified every time we post a new recipe. We post daily so stay tuned for all our recipes. If you haven't watched the last Baking Soda Junior video, the link is in the description so go and check it out. Now let's get on with today's video. The interesting thing about a pound cake is, it requires the same amount of butter, sugar and all-purpose flour. Now in a mixing bowl, let's add 100 grams of unsalted butter. If you would notice, the butter, sugar and all-purpose flour are all 100 grams each. Now I'm adding 100 grams of sugar and let's beat this with a hand mixer until it becomes pale. When it becomes pale, it is a sign that the sugar is well dissolved in the butter. Now I'm going to scrape down the sides of the bowl to prevent any sugar from not mixing in. Next, we're going to take two eggs for this pound cake recipe. We're going to beat the eggs with a hand mixer until it becomes fluffy. We don't have to separate the yolks and the whites here, we can just beat them both together. They are now well whipped. So now we're going to add the egg mixture into our butter sugar mixture. Now I'm going to mix it in. I'm going to continue to use my hand mixer to beat it in. Next, let's add 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract for flavour. Now let's add 100 grams of all-purpose flour. To that, we'll also add half a teaspoon of baking powder so that our cake rises. I'm going to beat this on low speed so that the flour doesn't fly. I'm going to use the spatula to mix all in. I've lined a loaf pan with parchment paper. You can use a cake tin as well. Now I'm going to brush the parchment paper and the sides of the pan with some butter so that the cake can rise evenly. If you do not have parchment paper, you can just use melted butter and coat the pan so that your cake won't stick. This is a highly crucial step so please do not skip it. If not, your cake won't be able to come out. So now I'm going to transfer the batter into my pan and smoothen it out evenly. Let's tap the air bubbles out. I'm going to sprinkle some raisins over. You can sprinkle cranberries, raisins or even chocolate chips if you like. It's completely up to you. You can sprinkle as much as you want or as little as you want or you can even skip this step. Now it's time to bake. Let's preheat our oven to 180 degrees Celsius which is 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to bake this cake for 35 to 45 minutes until when a toothpick is inserted it comes out clean. It's now been about 40 minutes, our cake is ready, it's time to take it out of the oven. I'm going to let it cool for a while and then slice it into equal slices. Now doesn't that cake look amazing? It's spongy, airy, buttery, everything you will want in a cake. The texture is just perfect. So be sure to try it out for yourself, it's a really basic recipe so I'm sure anyone will be able to do this. That was a very yummy and simple cake. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe and comment down below. And I'll see you guys in my next recipe. Bye!